Well, he was the youngest mayor in a major American city, the youngest mayor in Cleveland history for sure, a former U.S. congressman, a candidate for president, and Ohio governor. Dennis Kucinich can now add author to his resume. And he joins us live now to talk about his new book, an amazing book, The Division of Light and Power. Dennis, always good to see you, my friend. How are you today? Wow, Wayne. <laughs> it's great to be with you, especially at Fox 8. And uh, what a beautiful day it is. I'm just uh, elated to join you on this, on this beautiful day. Well, I, I will say, man, before we talk about your book, and it's, it's, the book is incredible. I got a chance to go through it. It's, it's big, it's long, but it's an easy read, and it's like a trip down memory lane. But uh, we're hearing that you're just a few days away from announcing your run for mayor, true or false? Well, Wayne. You know I love you, and I'd love to share all my thinking with you about uh, whether I'm running for mayor or not. Uh, but this morning, I wanted to talk about my book, and uh, I'll be happy to talk to you about running for mayor, if in fact I do run at another time. Can I take that as a yes? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You're great! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Kucinich. Um, I'm, 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 I'm booking it this morning. <laughs> yeah, but hey, you know what? When, when, I, when I read this book, I'm like, why would you want to run for mayor again after all you went yeah, through the first time? Well, <laughs> well you know, that's a fair question. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I, I can understand why Frank Jackson decided not to again. And, and you know, this, this book is really the story of my journey into politics. Uh, 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 and it, all, it became about a light system, but it's much more than that. I mean, when you think about a 23-year-old yeah. going into City Hall and just learning how the whole system works, most people don't have any idea. And I, when they read this book, they will. <laughs> well, let me tell you, okay, 1977, you were 31 years old, the youngest mayor in Cleveland history, and then you had the audacity to step on a lot of toes. Uh, you fought against tax abatement for the major corporations. You cleaned up City Hall. Lots of stuff going on in City Hall. You cleaned that up. Uh, then, you, then you wouldn't back down from the mob. And then you fought against and prevented the sale of Muni Light. And that, my friend, was a big deal back then. Thank you, Wayne Dawson. And now uh, to our anchor. Uh, <laughs> You're crazy. Uh, so, yeah, let me tell you, uh, yeah. this, uh, this battle that I had was really a, a life and death battle. Yeah. You know, back in, back in 1976, just when I started the campaign to save Muni Light, I had a high-powered rifle shot uh, come just past my head by a fraction right, right behind me. Now, here. you were a councilman with that? Because you started the fight when you were a councilman, right? Well, councilman, yes, but then I became clerk of courts okay. before I became mayor. Okay. And so, you know, there was a lot on the line. There was a lot of money on the line. The head of police intelligence... Uh, uh, then uh, Lieutenant Kavasa came to me when I was mayor, and he said, Mayor, he said, there's, and this is in the book, it says, he said, uh, you know, uh, I, I asked him, he says, why, why these assassination plots? Because I didn't talk about it during that time. Yeah. He said, Mayor, it's about Muni Light. There's a, you, a lot of, you're stopping a lot of people from making money. Yeah. And um, you know, so I, uh, this book, by the way, uh, you know, it took me 40 years to write, but the, story, yeah. the stories in it are, are so powerful yeah, in the sense are. that they show people how it works from the inside. Yeah. And, yeah. and what a 30, at that point, as you, you know, as you indicate, 31-year-old mayor, you know, I mean, I, you know, everyone watching is 31, yeah. or think about yourself as 31. Talk about you know, the talk, Dennis. Talk about the, the city went into default, uh, Cleveland Trust, and, and that all stemmed from the Muni Light situation and, and, and the fact that corporate Cleveland was so against you. Well, at that point, they all gathered around Cleveland Trust and see, yeah, and and frankly, a few years later, it was only Fox Eight, which pointed out how the default occurred. Uh, the bank told me they wouldn't renew the city's loans. Right. Uh, on, on loans I hadn't even taken out, by the way, and then they, uh, they, I was told by Cleveland Trust, look, either you sell that light system to CEI, which turned out to be their business partner, or we, the bank, will not renew your loan. I said no. They put this in default, but the people voted a tax to take us out of default, even though the banks promised if, we, if the people voted for the tax, we'd get out of default. They kept us in default. After the vote, yeah. after the people said yes, yeah. and, and then you know, I mean, this was a a very corrupt thing to do. And all these all these people I 
all the bankers that I was dealing with at that time and the head of the utility, they're all gone to the great beyond. Yeah. But, but this story lives because it's a, it's a cautionary tale on what happens if somebody doesn't stand up for the people, and I did, yeah. but it also, hey, with when the COVID money runs out, people are going to be looking, to, they're going to privatize this or that in cities all across the country. So I'm getting calls, by the way, yeah. from all over the country, from yeah. people who are excited about the book, and they want to know what they can do to get control of not just the politics of their town, but what they can do to kind of have way in on, on utilities and utility rates. Right now we have Cleveland Public Power, and it's because of you, because you had the courage to stand up and, 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 and to fight uh, CEI and, and the others who wanted to sell off the city's uh, power company. And, and that's a feather in your cap. And, and you didn't get credit for it until m many years later. Only on, only on Fox 8. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. You know, it was Denise Tufala, Tim Taylor, yeah. and Bob Cervonera. Yeah. Uh, they had this piece and, uh, around December 15, mm -hmm. 1994, yeah. where they went over the whole thing yeah. and they showed what happened. Because most people didn't know what happened. Right, right. But, you know, I, you know, I was a young man. I had to make a stand. But I took the stand for the people of the city. And that's what well, Clevelanders remember. I'll tell you that the book is incredible. It's like a trip down memory lane of the 1970s and all of that. Uh, you as a city councilman, all the names in there, you know, the, the perks in there and, 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 and you know, uh, Mayor Stokes and all those, and George Forbes and all that. It's just, just like a, a history of the city of Cleveland back then. You are a one-term mayor, and, and that was because the city went into default, do you think? Oh, so listen, the banks kept the city in default in order to blame me for it. Mm -hmm. People didn't understand that at the time. Right, right. But, you know, and, and then even after the people approved the tax and even after they a approved keeping uh, Muni Light by a two to one margin, the demands to sell continued. I mean, wow. this is extraordinary. Incredible. And so, the, so this, this book, uh, if I may, you know, this Division of Light and Power yeah. uh, is not just a story of what goes on and in, in, in what went on in Cleveland. But it's, uh, uh, it's a story that all cities are going to start looking at in terms of who's making the decisions in the community. Well, and Dennis, I, it's, a, it's an excellent read, man. It really, really is. And, and uh, all 600-plus pages of it, is <laughs> but it's an excellent read. It's a trip down memory lane, and it refreshed my memory about a lot of things that went on while you were mayor of the city of Cleveland. Thank you, sir. I appreciate being on. Good to see you again, Wayne, Good and to see, uh, you. see you down the road, okay? All right. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll look forward to seeing you down the road. <laughs> All right, thank you. Dennis Kucinich, former mayor of the city of Cleveland. All right, still to come on Fox 8.